Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. A quick additional update here on Gala. I will discuss the imminent short-term price action and of course my longer-term outlook. Make sure that you watch the entire video. Before we start off, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. If you want to join my trade signal group, click the first link in the description or just scan the code on the right side of your screen. Lastly, follow me on Twitter, Steph underscore is crypto for the latest updates. So this is the hourly time frame here for Gala. And at the moment we are tracking this current wave count here, basically from off the swing low we have made on the 30th of December at 1.5 cents. We moved up in five waves impulsively to the upside. Currently this structure is not yet completed. We are still in this fifth wave to the upside. And um, yeah, as you know, each wave also has five sub waves in it. So we are still waiting for the completion of this last leg to the upside for Gala. Is it possible to label this slightly different? Yes, that is a possibility. You, you could say that this all was a wave one here, this is a two. We are right now coming up in a three, four and five to complete this larger fifth wave. That is a possibility. But at the moment I'm tracking this wave count that we already made a one, came down in a two, came up in a three, came down in a four. And right now we are in the last leg for Gala to the upside. At least that is the current expectations. What we also can see here on the chart is that Gala is forming this rising wedge here, this uh, ascending wedge on the channel here. And um, if we take a look at the RSI indicator on the four hourly time frame, we can clearly see that the RSI from of the peak of the third wave is forming lower highs, as you can see, very easy to spot here. And if we go to the price from of that same point, the peak of the third wave, we can clearly see that the price is forming a higher high structure. So a classical bearish divergence from the peak of the third wave towards the peak of the fifth wave. And this will eventually lead to a breakdown for Gala a healthy correction here in a so-called Elliott Wave 2. What do I mean with an Elliott Wave 2? Well, guys, if this all together was part of a larger Wave 1 on the chart, then we will move down in a 2, and then there will be a 3, massive Wave 3 to the upside for Gala. So this is at the moment my expectations. I still think there's one more push higher here for Gala. Uh, I don't know exactly how high this can go. I will give you the price targets, but... As long as we are respecting this upward sloping resistance line of the wedge, I think this count is correct here. And let me actually give you the exact price targets here for this last leg to the upside for Gala. So what we can do, we can calculate here the length of this first impulse for Gala here the, of the fifth wave. So, and if we put this on the bottom here of the second wave here, we can actually see that the third wave went exactly to the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level here on the logarithmic time scale, which is a perfect target for a third wave. That makes me believe that this is the correct wave count. So what is the price target for this fifth wave? Well, there are several waves, ways how you can calculate that. First of all, we're gonna measure the length of this first wave and put this trend-based FIB tool at the bottom of this potential fourth wave here. And then we are looking for the one-to-one -one ratio, and that is coming in at 5.6 cents. However, as you can see, the 5.6 cent level is not uh, is not coming uh, yeah, in contact with this upward sloping resistance line. So what I do expect is Gala to move a little bit higher, maybe towards the region of 6 cents, anywhere in that region, it would be an, um, yeah, a very likely place for Gala to top out because that is also aligning with this upward sloping resistance line of the wedge. So that could be a possible scenario. Um, at the moment in this fifth wave, I can already see that we already made a possible wave one, a wave two, a one, two, three, four. We are right now in the wave three, there will be a four and a fifth wave to complete this fifth wave of the fifth wave so i hope you guys can still follow this but uh yeah let's see how this will play out at the moment there's of course no guarantee that it will exactly play out like this but it is just a likely scenario uh, we are uh, completing this fifth wave in the form of an ending diagonal it looks like it and yeah that's those are the most um 
logical price targets. If we switch over to the log, uh, to the daily chart, we can actually see that critical resistance is at 5.3 cents, where we are exactly slightly below right now. And if we go higher, we can see that the, these order blocks are forming resistance at the 6 cent area for Gala. If we push higher than that, then we can go all the way up to 7.2 cents. So that is all possible. But let's see how this wave count is playing out. Uh, bear in mind, guys, this is micro counting. There are several possibilities how you can count this wave structure. But one thing I do know for sure is that we are most likely close to the end of this structure because, yeah, a lot of bearish divergences are forming on several indicators on the chart and these are not signals you should ignore especially not on the four hourly time frame this bearish divergence on the rsi also visible on the 12 hourly time frame and also even visible on the daily time frame for gala so only if we see a significant rally from of this point and the rsi goes above this peak here of 91 only then we are invalidating this bearish divergence but to be very honest, I don't see that happening. It is a possibility, but it is just less likely. So that's my analysis for Gala. I think the current price is still attractive to dollar cost averaging into this asset since we are down 95% from the all-time high. But what you can also do is just wait for a healthy pullback here for Gala. So if we get that healthy retracement in this wave two, you can possibly possibly buy Gala at prices around the three or four cent region. So yeah, make your own decision if that's worth uh, waiting or if you just want to get in now that's obviously up to you but this is just my own strategy so thanks a lot for watching please like this analysis subscribe to my channel and i see you guys in the next gala video bye bye